Hello dear friends, welcome to Gatech. Today in this video we are going to learn about the sketch based features in Katia. So I will just open the Katia application. We are going to start with the basic sketch based features in Katia. I am using Katia V5 R20. To start a new project or a new object, we have to go to start, click the mechanical design, click the part design and enter the part name. I will just keep it part 2 click ok so as you can see this is the screen now we are going to look upon the sketch based features the toolbar overflow i'll drag it out i'll make it horizontal as the name suggests sketch based features are used after we have a specific sketch so for drawing a sketch we have to go in the sketcher mode just select any plane i'll select the yz plane the selected plane will be highlighted in the tree over here. I'll go to Sketcher. Now we are in the Sketcher. So basically, I'll draw a profile of a rectangle. Okay, I'll make it constraint. Give the dimensions to. 60 mm okay do this dimension to 30 mm click ok now i'll exit the workbench so as you can see our sketch is ready now we are going to look upon the sketch based features so first feature is the pad in previous video also i have used this pad definition so padding is almost extending the space in uh, either of the direction so uh, I'll just go to the next so here the third option is active that is shaft shaft means rotating the sketch along a selected direction or an axis so if you select this sketch you can select the vertical axis or the side or any of the sides so your sketch will be rotated in three dimensions along that axis so this is your sketch i'll just select the third option that is shaft now the shaft definition is open here it displays first angle second angle first i'll select the sketch here in the second section you can see profile or surface click on the green sorry click on the blue box and click on the sketch so your sketch is selected and now you have to give the first angle and the second angle what is this first angle and second angle first angle means in one direction and second angle means if you give 360 and 0 here actually the sum of first angle and second angle must be less than or equal to 360 okay so first we will just keep this as it is 360 and 0 or you can enter change it by 0 and 360 if the first angle is 360, the sketch will rotate along the selected axis. I'll select the axis. Here the third section is about axis. Click on the blue box and click the vertical axis at the center. So as you can see here, the lines have rotated. Now this angle, if I keep this 360, the sketch will rotate in this way. And if here I decrease this 360, you can see as I decrease the 360 the angle or the sketch is retarding and if I increase the second angle then the sketch will proceed or increase from the other side so this is the use of first and second angle you can define it here now I'll just make it this 0 first as 360 so I'll preview and click OK so now this is your object this is done with the help of shaft command means if you want to rotate any object or any sketch along a vertical axis or any axis then you can use this shaft command I'll just delete this click OK so if you want to make a hollow 
सिलेंडर ओके और अ पाइप देन गो टू स्केच योर सिलेक्ट एनी प्लेन आई सिलेक्ट द वर्टिकल प्लेन गो टू स्केच योर सिलेक्ट द रेक्टेंगल एंड जस्ट कीप सम डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द एक्सिस दैट इज दिस विल बी योर इनर रेडियस ऑफ द हलो पाइप एंड दिस विल बी द आउटर रेडियस ऑफ योर हलो पाइप सो मेक इट कंस्टेंट यू दिस लेंथ एट सिक्सटी डबल क्लिक ऑन द लेंथ गिव इट सिक्सटी एंटर ओके एंड गिव द विड एज फोर एम एम ओके नाव एज यू कैन सी आवर स्केच इज रेडी अगेन इट इज नॉट फिक्सड बिकॉज द कलर इज नॉट कंप्लीटली व्हाइट सो टू डू दैट अगेन यू हेव टू फिक्स द पोजिशन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द वर्टिकल एक्सिस तो क्लिक कंस्टेन क्लिक एनी साइड सिलेक्ट एंड नाव एज यू कैन सी द स्केच एस टंड ग्रीन सो दिस इज कंप्लीटली कंस्टेंट नाउ एक्जिट द वर्क बेंच नाउ इफ यू यूज द शाफ्ट कमांड Keep this 360. Select the axis. Now I'll select the vertical axis V and preview. So as you can see, a pipe is created. So in this way, you can use this shaft command. Delete this. Okay. Now we'll go for the next. That is, glue command. For gluing, you need a object first. So Let's sketch something. I'll draw. A, there are, there can be one or many ways to draw any object in Katia. So I'll draw the uh, cylinder by another way with uh, by using the circle and using the pad definition. So I'll just give it 90 mm and click OK. So this is a circle. If you want to make this uh, your object in the isometric view, if you want to view this object in isometric view, below you can see there is a cube in the isometric view. Besides that, there is create multiple view and normal view. If you select normal view and select the plane, that plane will be highlighted, or you will see the plane in the normal view. So I'll just click on isometric view. And the cylinder turns in isometric view. If you, okay, if you want to view this plane from some plane in the normal view, just select that plane and click normal view. So this plane is normal to the viewer side. And now I just click isometric view. So this is in the isometric view. Now the second option that is pocket. Pocket, as the name suggests, pocket means removing the object sorry removing the material as you can see here from the figure also a cube is there and some material is removed from it pocket so pocket is basically removing material so i'll just select a profile so there is no profile so i'll draw a profile here i'll just select this face select any face Go to sketch up, and now I'll draw a square over here to make it constraint. Select constraint. I'll make this symmetry about both the axes. Allow symmetry. Okay. Now we have to give the dimensions. If you don't like to select this constraint each and every time. you do any operation just double click it and this will be selected permanently so drag this and give it 20 mm just select the side give it 20 mm okay now this is the square per square now we get the workbench so as you can see your profile is ready and i'll go for the pocket command so just click on pocket and it will give you pocket definition the pocket means actually removing the material so the selected profile will be uh, actually the material will be removed from the selected profile and the depth of the material will be as you specify i'll just give it 60 mm and preview okay 
now as you can see the material is removed from this so if you want to do this in the other side just click on reverse direction and the reverse material will be removed okay if you want to do it on both sides click mirrored and it will be done i'll just click this reverse preview and okay so as you can see the material is removed from this so this is the use of pocket command the next command is groove grooving actually means removing a material in a circular manner along the direction of some axis so if i just select uh, any plane i'll select the vertical plane i'll go to the sketcher here i'll draw something suppose i'll draw a arc or circle which is half on the of which uh, half side is on the our object so i'll make it constraint i'll give it 30 mm and fix the position of this point with respect to the horizontal axis 30 okay now this is constraint one more thing is there it is not fully constrained because if you take or click this point and drag it this will drag in the horizontal position so this is not fully constrained you have to fix the position with respect to vertical axis also. so just click this point the vertical axis and enter some value i will just enter 40 now the circle has turned completely green so it is completely constrained now exit the workbench and here as you can see our profile is ready so the fourth command in the sketch based features is groove select the groove and as we have seen in the shaft command similarly here there is first angle second angle and the sketch so select this sketch select our sketch select the axis select the vertical axis and preview so as you can see this groove removes the material in the circular manner so this is the importance of groove command so the next is rib i'll just tell this letter there is again one command slot and solid combine just click on the arrow of solid combine and there is the command called stiffener just click on stiffener here now we will just see what is stiffener so i'll draw a line i'll select the vertical plane go to sketcher i'll draw a line over here okay go to constraint make it constraint fix it with the horizontal axis now this is completely constrained in which the work change go to stiffener and now as you can see so the stiffener is actually is you have i think you have seen the ribs for the mechanical parts so the stiffener is actually the support so here you can specify the dimensions or the thickness of the stiffener i'll just give it 4 mm preview and ok so you can see the stiffener or stiffener is ready actually it is a support so this is the importance of the stiffener command now the fifth command that is hold if you want to draw a hole on any of the face so or any surface just click the surface go to hold and there will be a <coughs> hole definition so first of all you have to fix the position of the hole so here you can see a positioning sketch just go to that click on the icon and now you can fix the position just go to constraint click the point click the horizontal axis and enter the value 10 or i'll just make it 17 okay now with respect to vertical axis also you can fix so go to constraint select that point select the vertical axis double click and give it 70 okay now as you can see the point is over here just reduce this to 14 okay the point is over here now you have fixed the position 
just exit the workbench now your hold will be there so now here in the hold definition you can see the diameter of the hold the depth of the hold you can change it over here I will just keep the diameter 9 and depth of the hole as 19. Click preview and click OK. If you want to thread this hole, if you if you want to thread this hole, just go to thread definition, click on threaded dimension, thread diameter. You can select any standard here. Select the thread description OK preview and OK so you can't see the threaded threads actually but the threads are present so this is the only drawback in Katia you can't see the actual threads so this is the use of the whole command you can give threads OK now we have seen the whole command in the next tutorial we will see the rip command the slot command and the multi-section solids and multi-section re or removed multi-section solids so thank you for watching this video and hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and if you have any suggestions or any questions please feel free to write in the comment section thank you